Hello, uh, this is a tutorial about how to install GibLib, um, how to do the whole setup. Uh, basically, GibLib is a, a solution, so if you don't want to use GitHub, you can use uh, GibLib to manage all your repository using the Git protocol. Uh, there are basically two ways to get the GibLib. One is the Go, which is a single stack solution, and the other one is the Cellular container. So if you have a Java server, you can use the cellular container and run your WAR file. So for this example, this tutorial, we'll be using the Go solution. So the first thing you need to do is go here and download the Go solution for the platform you are using. After you have this file downloaded, you just need to set up the repository. So <coughs> then the first thing you need to do is uh, go to this folder here and edit this file, GitLib properties. So basically there are two properties that you need to edit. So one is the HTTP port or HTTPS port, depending on your need. The other one is uh, to store the password. So after you have these uh, two properties set up, you just need to uh, run the command line uh, <coughs> executable. So start the GitLib server. After you have started the GitLib server, uh, this is going to be the home screen for the user interface. So here, the first thing you will see is the dashboard. So there's nothing right now because you start the project, the server. Uh, here you will see the repositories in the server. You will see it's empty right now. And the activity, here you can search for repositories so of course there's nothing right now so the first thing you need to do is to log into the system we use the default username and password which is admin both click login so right now we are into the system logging as admin uh, you can see you have the option here to create a new repository to update your profile or change your password uh, that's one thing you should do at the beginning Make sure you change your password for the administrator. We don't gonna do that now because it's a tutorial. Uh, but we should go to profile. You will see right now the administrator doesn't have any repository. And what we have here is some preference. So this is basically uh, uh, some information have set up for the administrator. And there is no SSH keys. So the first thing we will need. Uh, to start managing the project, create a team. So right now there is no team, so let's create a new team. Uh, our team is gonna be called FIU team. So here are the permissions you can assign to that team. Uh, so this team can create a repository, uh, can for this repository. Um, let's say it's called a student. The for you that I do uh, those are the permission for the repositories we have right now uh, the team member first let's say I mean a team member uh, we don't have repository now so let's just create the team so we will see here that we have our team so after we have a team what we need to do is create users and add those users to the team. So right now the only user we have here is the administrator. So let's create a new user. It's called user1 and the password is going to be the same thing, user1. The name we're going to use for this place, user. Let's call this user email so this user can create a repository can for repository uh, this is gonna be the only user permission they want to assign to this user uh, here we can give more information about what are the organization for the user so let's fill out here go 
and the permission for this user to start the team. Let's see the user gonna be a member of this team. We don't have a repository. So let's click save. So we have user created. So if we go here to user, we will see we have this user, test user. That's the information we just created. Um, <coughs> the team is gonna have two members. If we go to the team, we will see the team right now have the user one and the administrator of the team member. So let's just start by creating a new repository that we wanna use uh, to test. So we're gonna have here for the repositories. Uh, let's gonna hit new repository. So let's call our repository FIU test. And the description is gonna be test repository. believe. So here we have the session we can choose what permission assigns to that repository. Uh, we're gonna keep the default one, which means like anyone can use and clone this repository. Uh, but we as the administrator we choose who can push to a repository. We're gonna allow force. So we're gonna include a readme file so we can init the repository. Uh, we're gonna include a git uh, ignore file. So for ignore, let's go. We can choose on platform. Uh, I'm gonna include the ignore file for that platform. So let's hit create the repository. So we have here our repository is called FIU test. So the repository says that the owner is administrator. This is the URL we can use to clone the repository. And we have initial commit. So this commit has what we instruct Gilead to do, which was include a gig ignore file. This is a gig ignore file designed for no yes. Um, if we go back, we will hit a readme. So right now I only have the description for this repository. So go back to the summary. We have we just create a new branch. It's called the master branch, to the main branch in the repository. So we we'll hit the commit, we'll see there's only one commit. The tree is gonna show you the structure of this repository. Right now I have only two files. Uh, there is no fork, there is no document except for the readme. Uh, if you want to compare, we can choose different branch. Right now there is only one branch, so there is nothing to compare. Uh, now that we have the repository, what we're gonna do is uh, clone the repository to make sure that it's working. So if we go here, uh, we need to have installed the gig, uh, client for window. What we're gonna do first, click here so we can copy to the clipboard the address to the repository. And we're gonna do a clone to this repository. So we hit here. So you see we did a clone to the repository we just created. So if we go here, we can go inside our FIU test and we see we have the two files here. So that's how you clone a repository here and Git. Uh, after you have this clone, you can start modifying the files, make a change on the files and then coming uh, those chains to the repository. Uh, if we go now here to the dashboard, we will see we will have uh, information about uh, what's going on in the system. Right now, uh, we see the only active repository is going to be FIU test here, and the only author right now was the administrator. Uh, I'm going to show you a list of what's going on in the system. And you can see here, I say uh, a new branch was created in FIU test called the master brown. Uh, you go here, go to a repository. Um, we go to the activity. We will see the activity was going on on the repository. If we go to the metric, we're going to give you information about statistics about what's going on. Uh, on the repository, who's making the commit, uh, 
who is changing uh, the repository, the code, and when do that happen? Uh, what we're gonna do right now is to get one of the files in the repository we just clone uh, make some change and trying to do a commit and push to the repository so if we go to the repository we will see that right now we have two files uh, we're not trying to dig the readme file uh, this is the content right now we have in our folder uh, local repository for the readme file so we're gonna add some content, save the file and commit it. So we're gonna save the file. Let's try to do a commit to the file we just did it. So let's call git commit the file. Our message is gonna be the read me file. So after we do the commit, what we wanna do is try to push our change. So it's asking for the password uh, to the commit. As they will do the push, we see the push uh, was pushed to the repository. So let's go back our repository and see the new uh, commit here. So if we see in the commit, we just committed the readme file, and the new readme file have the new line we just added. So we see two commit, the list of commit, the three the same, but the file just changed. The same file, the rig me. Uh, so we don't have any four. If we go to the dashboard, we will see right now we have two users doing the commit. One administrator, another one was user one. So that's basically uh, the tutorial for GitLib. Uh, go ahead, download the GitLib library, uh, and challenge your system. Um, try, give it a try. You you will enjoy. It.